Hey everyone, I'm really excited about today's manicure. Today is part one of a two-part series I'm going to release where today we're going to put on the base foundation set that I am going to, I'm like moving my hands down here off the camera. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to put on the base color that I want to use and then the second one is going to be where I take on a challenge. One of my VIPs, so on Facebook I have a VIP group and one of my VIPs challenged the whole group to do a manicure with the flower of the month like the birthday flower. And so this month, January is a chrysanthemum. So my second video is going to be me trying to create a chrysanthemum. All right, you guys, let's get started on just the base. All right, so like I said, this is gonna be the first part of a two-part series. This is our base color that I'm gonna use. And I've already cleaned my nails, so we're just gonna start applying the color street. I am using Holo Your Heart. So I take off the top purple tab, and then the silver tab is your color street, 95% dry. I'm going to line that up with my cuticle, but not on my cuticle, and press it down. And then go under my pinky nail with my thumb and perforate it off. There's a little bit right here that's on my skin. I'm just gonna press right there and peel that off and we're good to go. Then I'm gonna use this other half on my pointer finger. Ooh. And again, actually let me grab my cheater glasses just so that I can see my cuticle really well. All right. Lining it up with my cuticle, press it down the middle, press it down the side, give a little pull and press on that side. Again, using my thumbnail as my tool, go under my pointer finger and perforate it off and wrap the rest around. All right, next, oh, I only had one of that size. So I'm gonna use this one it's gonna be too big, but that's okay. Take the purple tab off. Pull off my color street. I like to put it back on the white. It just gives it a little bit more stability when I'm holding onto it, so it's not as floppy. Press that right there on my, without getting it on my cuticle. Press it down this way, press it down that way. Now I purposefully, oh, okay, one thing at a time. Put my thumb under my pinky and perforate it off. I purposefully put this in the middle. Um, if this were a glitter and it was a solid color, I probably would have made it off center so that um, I only had to perforate one side, but because this has this design, I wanted the design in the middle. So I wanted to perforate both this side of my pinky and perforate Ooh, it's stuck, it's stuck on my thumb. And perforate on this side of my pinky so that that design is even in the middle and not off center. Okay, press, press, press. Perforate it off. There we go. So I'm really excited about this challenge. I I think this is going to be fun to have something that I actually have to try to create. So creating, so I think I said it in the, in the intro, but just to repeat myself, it is to create the flower that goes for each month. So this month there's a white, Flower. I can't remember what she called it, but there's also the chrysanthemum, and that's the one I'm going to go with, is try to create a chrysanthemum. So chrysanthemum in Japanese is Kiku, and my daughter's middle name is Kikumi, 
Ikikumi, which is beautiful chrysanthemum. So I'm excited to do this. All right, there we go. Next, I think this one's a good one for my middle finger. Take the purple tab off. Take off my color street and line it up. Can you guys think of how would you do that if you were to create a chrysanthemum? How would you do that? I would love to know. What would you do, right? I know it might be a long comment because you have to explain it all, but go ahead, leave a long comment or leave a couple of them. How would you, what color chrysanthemum would you do? Because actually chrysanthemums come in so many colors. Do you guys remember when you were a kid, did you guys do the chrysanthemum like science test, science project where you like put a chrysanthemum in a glass of water and then you put food coloring into the water and then the chrysanthemum changed colors based on the food coloring because it would suck in the, the coloring through the stem. Do you guys remember doing that? Anyways, what color chrysanthemum would you want to make? All right, last finger. That one? This one? That one? I think. I think. Let's see, which one's bigger? Oh, these two are the same. This one's the bigger one. All right, purple tab off. Oh, I had more over here. Oh, well, I already took the top off. Pull off and line her up. I wonder what flower February is. Do you guys know? Also leave that in the comments if you know that too. I don't know and I need to start preparing and thinking what am I going to do with February and if you guys want to join if you happen to be a stylist who has their own YouTube videos I would love for you to join our little challenge and um, see you create a flower for every month that would be fun if a lot of us stylists all joined in or even non-stylists because the lady who challenged us is in my VIP group and she's not a stylist. She just loves Color Street. All right, what do you think? I think it's gonna be a great base. All right, let me clear this out and go with these for my thumb. Let me know if you're willing to do the challenge with me or with us. All right, line her up. Come on. I'm trying not to get it on my cuticle. There we go. So who all do you know that has a January birthday? For me, in fact, it is today is my dad's birthday. And then one of my nephews, it's already passed, and one of my nieces is also January. Who do you know that has a January birthday? All right, it's stuck on my thumb. Come on. So for the last one, so these ones happen to be the biggest ones, which I can actually use on my toe, but I don't have the second biggest one available anymore. And that's what I would normally use on my thumb. So again, I am centering it as best as I can, pressing it down. And then I'm gonna let this cure for 30 minutes at least. 
um, before adding the next layer so that my next layer will be easier to apply and won't be, this layer won't be tacky. So rub, 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 trying to perforate right at the, where my skin and my nail come together and perforate that off. There we go. And this side too, it's very thin. That little bit that needs perforating. All right, if you haven't already liked the video, please do so and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and after this dries, I will apply the flower. And so that's gonna be a separate video. So that's why you wanna um, hit that bell so you could get notifications of when I post that one too. But again, this one is Holo Your Heart. Super cute. What do you guys think? I like this one. I think it's going to be a great base for my chrysanthemum. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye.